Hey everyone, today I've got a fascinating story for you about one of the most influential writers of our time, Arundhati Roy. Born in 1959 in Shillong, India, Arundhati had a childhood that was anything but ordinary. Raised by a fiercely independent mother, she attended various schools before landing in the capital New Delhi. Here, she studied architecture, but little did she know her true calling lay elsewhere. Fast forward to 1997, when Arundhati took the literary world by storm with her debut novel, The God of Small Things. This book didn't just win the prestigious Booker Prize, it redefined the boundaries of storytelling in Indian literature. But writing wasn't just a career for Roy, it was a way to make a statement. Beyond the glitz and glamour of literary success, Arundhati has been a relentless activist. Whether it's her harsh criticism of global capitalism, her advocacy for environmental issues, or her outspoken stance on human rights, she's never shied away from speaking her mind. This has earned her both admirers and critics worldwide. One of her most notable works post The God of Small Things is Walking with the Comrades, a compelling narrative that dives deep into the lives of revolutionary fighters in India. It's more than just a book. It's a powerful commentary on the socio-political landscape of the country. In 2017, Roy made a spectacular return to the world of fiction with the Ministry of Utmost Happiness. A novel that spans decades and touches on numerous social issues, it solidified her position as a voice that cannot be ignored. Arundhati Roy's journey is a testament to the power of words and the impact one individual can have on society. From a young girl in Shillong to an internationally acclaimed author and activist, her life is an incredible tapestry of courage, conviction, and creativity. So, if you haven't delved into her works yet, now might be the perfect time to start. Trust me, it's a journey you won't forget. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing stories. Until next time, happy reading.